Traceability is the ability to link a product to its origin and to its destination. Essentially, a traceability program allows you to track your product one step back and one step forward using a lot number. So let's travel one step back using your lot number. That lot number will identify the original field location, the date the product was harvested, and a recorded history where you can review activities such as pesticide and manure application, any unusual events such as flooding or wildlife intrusion, or employee health issues. You may be able to identify how and when a contamination event could have occurred. Tracking by lot number allows you to determine where any potentially contaminated product was sent. Directly to a wholesaler, to a restaurant, through a CSA, or to a consumer at a farmer's market or roadside stand. It is important to develop a recall plan checklist, which is a list of actions that you will undertake in the event of a recall. The first step should be to identify the lots which have been contaminated, and then contact your customers and instruct them to physically remove the product from the market. A recall plan checklist should include the following. Customer and buyer contact lists, including restaurants, other vendors, CSA members, and farmer's market customers. A recall contact list. This list should include names and phone numbers of media representatives, proper government authorities, your insurance company, and legal counsel. Your plan should include identifying the problem, whether it's a chemical, physical, or microbial risk, and assessing the health risks resulting. Determining the products and lot numbers involved. Is it only one day's worth of all vegetables? Is it a specific crop? Determining the quantities involved. Determining the current inventory on premises of the potentially contaminated product. Determining the amount of the product in the marketplace. Identifying the customers or buyers who have received the product. Collecting pertinent documentation regarding the affected product. Determining the total amount of suspect products shipped or delivered, the total amount of product in buyer's possession, the total amount of suspect product the buyer has shipped, and any product that has been discarded. Conduct an annual mock recall to outline any issues in the recall plan and to make any improvements. If this is your first time undergoing a gap audit, a mock recall will not be required.